what we do absolutely matters. I don't for a second believe the why is more important than, than how we do things or what we do. You have to have all three. The problem is most people know what they do, some people know how they do it, and very few people know why. And so my cause, my, my, one of the things I'm attempting to do is share this idea with people so that they understand that um, success and fulfillment, all of these things require three things. What, what you do, how you do it, and why you do it. Um, and uh, absolutely what you do matters. Absolutely what you do matters. Um, what you do ultimately has to prove what you believe. So if that's not good, then the whole thing falls down. If you have tons of why and know what, it doesn't work. I think the concept of risk is a fascinating idea because what is risk, right? And I think the only people that perceive risk are the people who are afraid of losing something. They say, oh, it's not worth the risk, you know, because they're looking at the thing that they could lose. I think those who are so driven to get to a certain place and are so optimistic, um, even though they might have similar decisions, I don't think they perceive them as risky. They see them as necessary, even if there's a possibility of loss. So I think the concept of risk, and whether risk is a word that scares you or excites you, is depending on your own disposition. You know, to some people, the word risk is a scary word, and to some people, the word risk is an exciting word. So it's, it's a relative scale. Um, it's, it's about decisions, and some decisions, there's the potential for loss. The question is, are you willing to take that decision? Is where you're going worth that potential? Clarity of vision is um, just that. It's the ability to take a vision, something you can see, something that doesn't exist, and put it into words that other people can clearly understand as clearly as you can. Um, and a lot of people who are visionary don't have the capacity to put their vision into words, and so they're just frustrated visionaries. The ones who achieve things are the ones who communicate their vision so clearly that other people can take that cause and make it their own. It's the ability to articulate and paint in pictures, paint with words, um, what you can see that hasn't been built yet. Um, and that's essential for vision. Communication and vision go together. You can communicate clearly, but if you don't have vision, then you're, just a rally, then you're just rallying people. And if you have vision but no ability to communicate, then it's only you. What good is that? Um, no good in the world ever happened with one person. And it always takes lots of people rallying together. Uh, leadership, um, to lead, is the ability to inspire people to follow in the direction you're going. Um, um, and great leaders serve those who follow them to give them all the tools and resources that they need so that they can join in to help build this vision of the future. Um, but uh, uh, to lead is one very specific thing. To lead is to inspire people to follow. That's it.